Hey y'all, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is really TT. Guess what? I got some happy mail from Catherine with friends. Thank you so much, Catherine with friends. Y'all, she trying to help me catch me. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and open this up. <laughs> this place. Catherine friends is super, super sweet. Um, I did uh, have her come on to my panel about, a, it was about three, four months ago. And she is like legit. Ooh, this is cute y'all she hooked it up she got me some eyelashes oh this is cute i gotta practice on um how to put this on these are cute fancy love it yes <laughs> i can't wait to put these on and she got me she um sent me a compact smoking me oh smoking mirrors Oh, this is so cute. Thank you. Electric eyeshadow palette. I'm going to open it up so y'all can see. Actually, let me do it this way. So, oh, this is cute. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Let me see if I can. Oh, there, that way. There you go. So, look at that. Look at the colors. It has sand, Cinderella, gold frame spice flame good oh, goddess <laughs> sketch envy twilight midnight kiss and mesmerized this is super super cute i love it y'all make sure y'all check out Catherine friends she is super dope she will keep you laughing the whole time she is super super amazing I like her. She's just like the bomb.com. I did meet her through um where did I meet her from? Drop the link. And she's been super, super cool ever since. Like she will give you the real. For real, for real. So make sure y'all go support Catherine with Friends. Thank you so much, Catherine with Friends. I definitely appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for my gift. It's so cute. I can't wait. I'm gonna be taking pictures. <laughs> Y'all, guess what? I I don't even know if I even got pulled. I'm 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 gonna just tell y'all what happened. So yesterday I went and got something to eat, me and my my kids and myself, and I literally left the place, you know, the drive-thru area, drove to the store, got situated in the car to get ready to eat. Usually I will just eat from home. Usually my kids will eat before we leave. So that way we ain't got to deal with all that. But I was trying to get stuff done and it kind of set my day back. So I'm like, we just going to go eat. I haven't really taken them anywhere to eat, you know, within a while. And I try to take them somewhere, you know, maybe once a week, if that. But yesterday was just the day. So got my food, drove to the store, to Walmart, and literally gave my kids their food i bit into my sandwich and my fish sandwich and there was hair so you know i was annoyed right so i'm like oh my god mind you i had eaten all day they had had breakfast i didn't eat breakfast at all and it was going on like two o'clock so i was so hungry i just started my car back up drove back to the restaurant the line was super long and I'm like, I'm not going to go, you know, I'm not going to go in that line. So I was there for a, sitting there for a minute and I'm like, okay, well, those workers outside, I can just tell them because they weren't letting anybody, I guess nobody really inside. So I got my food and I had been there for like two minutes or so, two, three minutes in my parking stall. Literally, as soon as I get out the car, a police car rolls behind me and blocks me in. And I'm thinking, oh, what happened? You know, because the workers outside, they talking and somebody walks out. I'm thinking something happened. So the officer was like, ma'am, um, stay in your car. And I'm like, okay. I said, well, I guess I ain't about to get my food. So I stayed in my car. He was like, can you roll your window down? I'm just like, okay, sure. He was like, do you know why I pulled you over? And I was just like, pull me over. I've been here. Like, he was like, yeah, um you were speeding you were doing 50 
in a 30 mile zone. And I'm in my mind, I'm like, what? I'm like, I've been, how? Like, okay, fine, whatever. And I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm, I was so confused because here's the thing. It actually is not 30 miles, it's 35 miles, first of all. Second of all, there is construction on both sides of the street. So there's no way that I could be doing 50. And on top of that, it was so much traffic throughout the, throughout the streets. So there's no way. And plus, I've been sitting in my parking stall for like two, three minutes before I even got out the car. And he had pulled up literally right behind me. And on top of that, I was sitting, sitting at a stoplight, two stoplights. So I'm like, okay, you know, fine, whatever. I was like, you know what? I've done nothing wrong. I, in my mind, I'm like, T, just keep calm or whatever. Just... You know, relax, you know, and everything's going to be okay. And I think it just irritated me because he didn't know I was irritated, but <laughs> you got to play the role. You know, I had my kids with me and I was just like, you know, we're great. This is just all I need right now. You know what I mean? So in my mind, like I didn't overreact. So I gave him my license, gave him my insurance, insurance and he was like, um, yeah, I'm looking for my brush. He was like, as long as he said, as long as you have a clean record and you have insurance, then, you know, I'll, you're fine. So he had to wait, of course, for them to, um, come back with my, my license or whatever. I guess he had to call it over the radio. And, um, in my mind, I'm like, this is really, this is the second time this has happened to me. And the fact that I wasn't even, you know, speeding or whatever, this happened to me like last year. And I for sure wasn't speeding last because it was like it happened at a construction site the last time as well, too. And I'm like, in my mind, was like, I legit was not speeding. There was no I, there was no way for me to speed because it was too many cars. Like it was like kind of like traffic on, on the main street. So I'm like, whatever, you know, just keep calm, just chill out, just relax or whatever. And, um, he was like, he was like, yeah, he was like, you know, you're just going a little fast and, you know, and I'm just like, okay. In my mind, I'm still like, dude, I've been sitting in this parking stall for like two, three minutes and you just literally just pulled up behind me. But if, if that's what you saw, then that's what you saw. I'm not going to sit here and argue with no officer because y'all know it's too much stuff going on out here anyway. So let me not, not put myself in that situation just by being calm. So it took a couple of minutes for him to call and he was like, he said, okay, your license is valid. He said, okay, um, I just got to verify your insurance and I was like, okay, but in my mind, I was just like, I've done nothing wrong. You know, I've done nothing wrong. So, my mom always told me, when you know you've done nothing wrong, it don't take all that energy. When you know you've, you've done nothing wrong, you really don't have to say much. And I think I was, no, I know that I was, you know, nervous because I don't, I mean, you really don't know what will be going through these, you know, officers' heads, you know, when stuff like this has happened. You know, um, I just, in my mind, I was like, okay, you know, just keep calm. You know what I mean? Like, I wanted to voice my opinion to him, but it's just like with, pe with people like that, not people like that, because I'm not going to lie, at the end of the day, the officer, he was actually, he was really nice. He was very nice and, you know, really nice and respectful. Um, he was super cool. He was like, yeah, he's like, I got to, you know, catch another, uh, catch another call. He was like, you know, everything is good. He said, just, he was like, um, are you here? He said, I see you have your food. Is something wrong with your food? And I was like, yeah, I was like, there's hair in my food, you know, cause he, it wasn't, he was not disrespectful. He was not mean or anything. And I was like, yeah, I got hair in my food. I'm just trying to, you know, trying to get my food, you know. So legit, literally, he was like, okay. He's like, well, he said, I hope you have a nice day. And I was like, you too. <laughs> that was it. And he, 
he went on about his business and he you know he was it was cool it was just more so me just like oh god like why am i why is he here you know why is he bothering me you know <laughs> type of deal um yeah i don't i don't know i just it was just weird like and then at the end of the day in my mind i'd be like okay well I try to figure out, you know, why did he pull me over? Then I'll just be thinking like, maybe God was just keeping me from something else. You know what I mean? Maybe he was, you know, shielding me and my children um, from from something, something that I didn't need, you know, didn't need to cross paths with. You know what I mean? Maybe, uh, maybe he, you know, had that officer come in my personal space because maybe I'm just here just to tell y'all that. Not all officers are, you know, they don't mean, not all officers mean any harm. They just don't. Not all don't mean any harm. And I have law enforcement in my family. And I feel like, uh, you know, I know them, you know, and, you know, and I, I, I know officers that are, you know, pretty cool. You know, um, I think for me growing up, from where I'm from, officers were, you know, cool because I was in D.A.R.E., the D.A.R.E. program in elementary school. So that kind of set the foundation for me to deal, you know, with officers. Like, I feel comfortable talking to them. I feel comfortable asking them for help. But because of everything that has been going on, it does put you in a tight, choked up space when they are you know directing their attention towards you because they're they're needing information from you or you know if you get pulled over that's why for me i kind of really don't know how to say like did he technically didn't pull me over because and that was another thing his lights and those sirens were on behind me like i was so confused <laughs> you know i i've been tailgated by officers before like i've had an officer a couple of it was like seven years ago i had an officer um he was like on like it was like I was I had to drive a hundred and some of my miles to get home and I was coming from school it was like 10 o'clock at night and like he when I say you I, he was so close on me to where you didn't even know he was on he was like in a black SUV um the windows were tinted it was just blacked out you didn't even know you didn't even know it was an officer's car like he was like really on on me so I'm thinking you know for me I'm thinking for me, somebody is either he, this person's sleepy or he following me. So I was just like, okay, well, I, I ended up switching lanes because I did not know who this person was, right? And mind you, it was on a dark road. So he eventually, he pulled me over and I had to go to court for that. And the, the judge did, the judge said, told him that she did not believe his story with what happened because I told her what happened but she did give me a ticket because he said that I was speeding as well too and I told her I said I wasn't speeding I kept saying I was speeding she says the only reason why I'm going to give you a ticket ma'am is because you did not tell me exactly how fast she was going and I was like but I wasn't speeding <laughs> I said, ma'am, I said, I was not speedy. I said, he was like, oh, my bunker. I was like, he did not. Then I was like, okay, you know, I was like, you know, whatever. And the funny part about it is that it was at another construction site. They was on construction site at um, construction work at nighttime. So it's like construction work, whatever. I'm going to just start going the other way. Because I'm like, it's been too many occasions where this has happened. But I said this to say that this experience that happened to me, you know, yesterday was not, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm okay. I just feel kind of weird, you know, because I, I just be seeing too much stuff on TV and not TV. I don't watch TV, like Instagram, or whatever, and social media. And, um, I be getting like scared sometimes because it's like, you don't know. You know, once once you are in a, the the law the law's hands, you know, they have to say so. You know what I mean? And I see why people, you know, do the stuff that they do. But like I told y'all, my mama always told me, you know, well, when you done nothing wrong, you don't have to do all that hooping and hollering. 
and you can stand your ground and then you'll be okay for the most part for the most part some other people have not been as you know successful but that's my story time not all officers are bad it was a weird situation that happened yesterday i still really don't know how to really feel about it i'm still trying to process process the whole thing i did not get a ticket <laughs> didn't get a ticket <laughs> but it's still just weird so yeah so thanks again Catherine with friends i just did light light makeup just for now i need to get some more eyebrow brushes i was up sitting up here looking for my pencil sharpener but i don't know but thanks so much Catherine with friends <laughs> appreciate you so much See y'all later. Bye-bye.